on the time. Sorry. I ran a few minutes behind. Sorry. My husband was out tinkering with one of the work vehicles. So <laughs> I'm like, hey, I need you to come inside and make sure the kids are quiet. So um, hopefully I didn't get a chance to actually, we're just going to move everybody a little closer. So um, we're going to do the whiteboard again. And I hope that this is okay. And we're going to discuss laundry and add-on services for your cleaning business. I can see that my hair needs a little bit of working, but whatever. Um, so the very first thing you should do, it's springtime. So um, congratulations, you made it to spring. Yay! So we passed the first quarter. If you guys are in the warmer climates, um, I'm in Arizona and it's um, starting to warm up here. Hi, I don't know who's there. Um, it doesn't show me today. <laughs> sometimes I'll see, sometimes they won't. Um, so if you're looking for extra work to add on to your current client bill, um, two great ways to do that is, um, I talked to Missy this morning, she was talking about power washing. So um, power washing is a great opportunity to make money. Um, you'll have to test it first. And Missy, I'll touch base with you later to see um, what you ended up coming. Hi, Missy, how are you? <laughs> Speak of the devil. So um, yeah, I, as soon as you test it out and we can figure out a price, I'm curious to figure out what you figured out. And um, maybe we can share that with the group. Um, but first and foremost, patios. I wanna talk about patios. Patios are an easy way in the spring to earn an extra hundred bucks. Um, another easy, hi Selena, another easy way to earn an extra hundred bucks added onto your cleaning services is um, we had the last building boom was in the 90s. So a lot of homes have the um, wood paneling inside of the kitchens and the bathrooms. And you can go right over to, I'm not sure if they left it down here, they took it. So um, you can go right over to Home Depot and get the, um, or Walmart or any shopping place and they, they have the Murphy's furniture oil and it's usually a darker in color. And what you do is you just take an old rag and you put it all over um, the wood and it sucks it in, it gives it a nice finish. It's an easy $100. Um, so that could be an add-on service that you provide to your current clientele. Um, we've had four people um, sign up for that so far. It was easy, it took them an extra 30 minutes. I got an extra 100 bucks, <laughs> I added onto the bill. I was like, yeah. So um, that is a great way to add on to your client bill. Asking your clients, um, another thing that has come up this week is asking your clients if they have any offices, um, commercial offices that they're interested in having you bid on and possibly clean. Um, go to your current client base to make sure that you're still ruminating. Lots of people still are working um, remotely, but a lot of people want to go back out and have their own offices and make sure that you're capping in on all that opportunity because it's important. You don't want to miss those because um, I actually had someone one time go, I didn't know that you did any commercial because all I did was houses. I'm like, yeah, we have, you know, 20% commercial, 80% homes. And um, it ended up being a great thing because he knew like 15 other people who were all looking for offices to be clean. So that, that switched that ratio from 80 to 20 and it ended up bringing it down from like, I still did 80, but it brought the commercial side up to it. So it was like 105% instead of just 100. I hope that makes sense. So, um, hi Alicia, hi Chanel, how are you? So basically those are two opportunities you can do right now that are easy peasy is power, um, you could power wash. Um, your um, patio furniture and if you don't have a power washer and you don't know what you're doing just get the hose and get the traditional squeeze release squeeze release <laughs> put some Dawn just soap scrub it up with a long finger brush give it all a, like a sparkly and then dry it all and it's it's really easy just you know go over there with galoshes because you're gonna get wet and hopefully it's warm enough in your area to take advantage of that so um cabinets and patios you should be asking your clients this week or next week or even before Easter if you're in a nicer warmer climate um, if they want their patios clean and you can do it today for an extra hundred bucks so um there are what we came here to talk about most importantly before I get all over the place squirrel <laughs> is um, laundry service now um, for a long time we provided an additional service and what that was to do was to get more repeat business so if you have a bi-weekly client and then you have another bi-weekly client and say you added on laundry service, this is the traditional form. And I see this kind of changing a little bit in the next six months to a year, so we'll see. 
and we would provide a light cleaning with laundry service. And depending on what type of washer and dryer system they had, it could be up to three or four loads. If they had energy efficient, then obviously it's not going to be um, as quick at getting the laundry done. We didn't offer any like pressing. We would actually wash it, dry it. They would sign a waiver. It comes with a free 15 minute consultation. So we kind of know where the bras go and we know where the panties are and how, you know, how to hang up the dresses and whose clothes are what. Um, so you have to be comfortable with people's undergarments for sure. Um, but you can just wash and dry it. So the light cleaning that's involved with that type of service is you just kind of go in and you are wiping down the counters, you clean the toilets and you vacuum the floors. And that's a, that's just to keep your cleaning tech or yourself busy while you're waiting for the laundry cycle to finish. And you can usually do three to four loads. And the starting price for that is $138.50 for us. Hi, I don't know who's there. So um, let's see, it doesn't show me at all. There we go. So if you're interested in that type of adding on laundry service, it's meant as a supplemental, it's not meant to replace. So instead of having two visits a month, they would have four visits and two of those would do laundry and two of those you would do like all of the cleaning. So I hope that makes sense. And then well, there was another post I saw about a week and a half ago and I can't remember who your name is and if I, I'm really sorry, I forgot who it was, but we've talked a lot about laundry service. I see that changing and maybe going into the direction that I'm gonna describe here. Um, the regular, a long time ago before everyone had washers and dryers, you just went around the corner to your local dry cleaner and they had um, fluff, right? Wash and fluff. So um, you would go and you would bring your laundry in a, in a bag. Usually it's a canvas bag. Like um, I've seen people use military bags. There's mesh bags, all kinds of things. And what you do is you plop it down on a scale. I checked the prices of scales. You need um, a pound larger scale. It's about 50 bucks on Amazon. And so if they come up to your door, if you're operating at your home, you could have them do a drive-by. You can meet them there and then bring the scale with you or they can walk to your garage or wherever you're doing it. And um, the person had mentioned that they're charging $1.99 per pound if they drop it off. And if she sends them, someone out to go get it, it's $2.99 a pound. She also mentioned that it was the highest profit margin for her other than one-time cleanings. And I was like, that's fantastic, <laughs> right? Who doesn't want the highest profit margin? So she just has someone who, um, and I've spoken to two people about this, they just have someone come and show up and they, they get paid for eight hours and all they do is do laundry. They um, wash, dry, fold, and then you'll need craft paper, right? And, or twine or however you're deciding to do it. And then um, one person, um, the person, the original person, I don't know if she stamped it with her logo, but the second person I spoke to actually did. She had um, a little sticker thing that she put on there to close the belly band to make it look all pretty and she would hand the laundry back. And um, that's how you can add on the laundry service. Now there is a different price point if you're doing STR, short-term rentals. So short-term rentals, um, sorry, I'm checking my notes. Um, short-term rentals, VRBOs, Airbnbs, I know um, quite a few of us have one or two at least. So the price point for those is you're, they're expecting you to do laundry on site. <coughs> I'm almost at the point we're actually going to have a separate class for STRs and pricing and all of the nuances on what to clean, how to clean, um, probably about three to four weeks from now. I just haven't had a chance to catch up this week. It's been really intense. But um, the, the normal price point for if you're going to add on a service like that, it's $25 to $30 a load. Um, some people are like, oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. But if you go back to the $1.99, most loads of laundry are gonna be like 20 or 30 pounds. So it's gonna end up being more than the 25 bucks a load, right? So if it's a comforter, you could actually drop off and pick up, or or if it's really heavy, it just depends on the service. And then a lot of people are just providing um, drop off and pick up service for, from the laundry place, right? So if you have an STR, your client um, signs up for service with a laundry service somewhere, hopefully it's in close proximity to you, and that you just drop off and pick up and they actually have their credit card built and you charge a service for that. And that's like 25, 30 bucks if it's close by and convenient for you. Um, these are all opportunities for you to take advantage so that you can earn extra income with your house cleaning business. Now, um, does anyone have, hi Luciana um, and Sandy, I see you there too. 
Does anyone have any questions over the specifics of laundry? Obviously, you'd have to have them sign a waiver saying, you know, if you accidentally ruin things that you, you know, if, so, if for some reason your, I don't know, um, your Louis Vuitton business slacks ended up in the laundry and getting washed and dried and they shrank to like this big, you obviously would not be responsible for that. You would just assume that everything was good and that you were okay to wash and dry whatever was provided to you. Um, so always get them to have a waiver and have them sign it. Um, that's my way of having people have accountability. But these are uh, those are all really easy um, ways that you can provide extra service to your cleaning services. So I'm actually considering maybe changing the laundry service from a cleaning per se because people really aren't interested in it as much as they used to be. And I'm actually thinking about just doing like drive up service, but I haven't quite worked out all the details. So if you guys decide that you're gonna do it, let me know. I'm very curious if you have um, a lot of success with it or if you don't. So um, some of the supplies needed are, you're gonna need a large scale. You'll need um, obviously a washer and dryer, um, laundry detergent, and then you'll need a good stain removal. So um, I've heard a lot of a weird things that you can use for stain removal. I would just pick something that's commercial and it's over the counter and easy to use. Um, there's several products on in, in the market right now that are really good stain removal. If you come across one that's awesome, I know OxyClean is a booster. Um, that helps the laundry come out cleaner. So it just depends, I guess, on what you're using. Um, some people like fabric softener, some don't. And then um, you'll need craft paper and a twine and you have yourself a business. You can actually just slide the credit card through right on the iPad and ta-da, you have laundry service. Oh, most important is turnaround time. So from what I've researched in my area, if I were to fluff and fold in my area, it's usually a three to four day turnaround time. So if you drop off on Monday, you can pick up usually on Wednesday or Thursday in the afternoon after three is how everyone else is working that out. If you have something different in your um, in your area, please let me know because I'm curious as to um, how that's working out throughout the United States. Um, so that's that's important. So $1.99 per pound if they drop off to your house or your office. Um, I know many of you guys have gotten offices. So, um, and $2.99 if you have to go and get it. And um, the average weight for a load of laundry is about 30 to 35 pounds. So you can kind of quickly do the math, $1.99 times 35 pounds. And then obviously, if your area requires you to collect sales tax, please do so. I don't want you to get in trouble. <laughs> don't send me a nasty little message saying, I had to pay taxes. I'm like, I didn't know, I'm sorry. Um, because Arizona operates differently than everybody else. So um, that's how you can add on extra services. Does anybody have any questions in regards to laundry service per se, patio washing, power washing? And I know Missy, you and I talked about that this morning. Anything at all? Nobody's got any questions today, at least. Let me look. Um, check on the other phone. And hopefully you guys can hear me. I didn't even check with, um, I'm gonna check the other phone because sometimes it won't um, let me do um, the checking on the live. I'm not sure why, it's just all this wonky. So $1.99 times 30 pounds is um, $59.70 a load. That's, that's not bad. <laughs> you can pay someone to stand there, even at 20 bucks an hour, you're still gonna profit. Um, so let's see if there's anybody on here on Facebook that has any questions that I'm not seeing. So let's look real quick. And looks like I'm live. Allison, thank you. Let's see if there's any. Nope, it's not letting me. Let's see three other people. I'm late to the video, but did you mention the cost of ironing? Ironing in my area um, per is done by the piece. And um, so it ranged, it was all over the board for ironing. So if you're not good at ironing or you don't like to iron, I don't recommend that you charge it. I'm not a really big irony type of person. I can do it. My grandma used to like the creases down the shirt. But um, it was uh, $3 to $3.50. And then if you added starch, it was an extra dollar in my area. I would imagine in the more populated areas like New York City, it could be a different price if you had volume versus non-volume and you just did small piece wear. Um, but that was the price 
that I got today when I called around um, for ironing and that's definitely a service that you could do and if you wanted and if you built it into a full-fledged wash and fluff service you can get the bags and the hangers I don't know I didn't do any research on those two items I did not have time today so um, are there any other questions that there are the comments let's look how do you advertise for that I missed about the Murphy's oil okay so um, Chanel with the Murphy's oil it, it's wish this is what happens when you have a six and a seven year old right and they touch everything so um you just go to like Home Depot or Walmart and they sell the Murphy's oil furniture oil it's like seven bucks a bottle and it'll, it'll last you forever and it's the darker one. They have a lighter colored one that you can use on more blonde colored wood. I like the darker one because it fills in all the nooks and crannies and the shine lasts a little longer. I would test it first in an inconspicuous place before you did it to make sure that the, you know, it wasn't going to be this horrific change because homeowners can be finicky like that. So um, I would do that. And then there was one other question here. Let's see. Live chat. Okay, so how do you advertise for laundry? Uh, there seems to be a little bit of confusion on how or where to, to market and advertise, and I think that we should probably do a whole series on just marketing, um, but I haven't quite gotten that far. So I'm going to assume that you have a website. So if you haven't taken the step to get a website, April Lynn, I don't know if you're watching April, I didn't see, um, is doing them for dirt cheap. And I keep telling her to raise the price and she hasn't done so. I would take advantage of it before she raises the price. I mean, they're dirt cheap. Uh, <coughs> I just got done with um, another website and that was five grand. So um, just make sure that you are getting your website. So when you get your website up and going, you need to have either, you need to either do it yourself. There's a lot of DIY videos on YouTube and you need to get your SEO wording for your website and your meta tag that says um, fluff and fold, laundry service provided. These are all keywords. So when Google goes to search, the spiders go, oh, this person does fluff and fold. Awesome. They're right around the corner from me. So I would advertise there. I would advertise on all of your print marketing if you have print marketing. And that's your business cards, your postcards that you're leaving at the local Mexican restaurant when you had margaritas there with your girlfriends, right? Um, those or the chamber meetings when you're giving out your your business cards or your postcards those the print items need to say fluff and fold laundry service provided ironing um express or regular turnaround and then um when you have your website you also have a page and it says fluff and fold um the person that i spoke to and i can't remember her name she actually had an actual website designated just for fluff and fold laundry so she had been doing it a while and as I mentioned, she had mentioned to me it was her highest profit margin. So um, those are two ways that you can advertise. And then when you meet people, say, uh, and go to your clients. Make a nice pretty flyer on Vistaprints or Canva is a really great place if you um, are doing low budget DIY. Um, do it yourself. Yes, DIY. <laughs> it's been a long day. And you can just go to Canva and make a flyer and just leave the flyer with your client. Say, hey, I just want to let you know. I'm, I, I'm adding patios. I'm adding furniture. Um, rejuvenate your kitchen cabinets with furniture oil special. I am now providing laundry service. Um, I don't recommend that you go into dog walking or pet sitting. Um, we have a cleaner here in our town who does like home security. She checks on homes because we have a lot of second and third homes up here. She does pet sitting. She does dog walking. All of the things that I think that are out of my realm, I just stay here. And the reason why I don't do any pet sitting or dog walking is I don't want something to happen to someone's fluffy and then I'm responsible for it. I don't, I don't, wanna, I don't want to be that person. I just don't want to have to give that news ever. Um, we have coyotes here. So we always have to ask the client if they have pets. And the reason for that is because if the pet gets out, the coyotes will eat the pets I don't want that on my shoulders. So <laughs> that's why I want to know if you have a fluffy, right? How many dogs and cats? And they say, oh, my dog is hairless. I'm like, I don't really care. If your dog has a bazillion pieces of hair fur, I only want to know because I don't want your dog to get eaten by the coyotes. So <laughs> that's why I'm asking. So um, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, love STRs. What else? Are there any more questions? Two, all right, Chanel, you got two commercial in the last two weeks, so you now have four. Congratulations, that is awesome. And then I think, Sierra, I hope that answers your question for advertisement. Um, these, the, what I mentioned was totally low budget. If you wanted to go big, you could obviously do a Facebook ad. Um, it's either hit or miss. You have to know the demographic and all the keywords and what to say and what not to say. So that can be a kind of an interesting thing. So um, I would do that. So hopefully that must, let's, I don't see any more questions for you guys. I'm looking for the comments. Always read labels. Some are non coloring bleach. Where can I find how to professionally clean laundry? I can wash sheets, towels, and clothes, but worry about the nicer, costly items. I would actually, if they want you to do laundry service, when you give them the free 15-minute consultation, if you're doing it inside their home, they sign a waiver It says... Just to let you know uh, that we're going to assume that everything in this basket is good to go and that it's not a delicate item. Um, as far as it's the, the challenge when we started to provide a laundry service, laundry cleaning service, what, believe it or not, was the folding of the laundry. <laughs> I wish I had shot video because we had a team meeting and um, you had like 20 girls are trying to trying to fold chonies trying to figure out how the bras worked um how to fold the tank top we went over with it we gave everybody a lesson on how to fold as far as um washing directions it was a lot about um knowing the fabric and what would be gentle or not gentle so what we came up with is that we washed everything on a quick gentle cycle that way it did get clean and then if it needed a second turn um then we would wash it twice or we would say, you know, or they would, the client would themselves would start it. So sometimes they could get five loads done. Um, if they started it and already started a load and then started the second load. So by the time that the cleaning tech arrived, they would be on the third load and they were able to, you know, just wash and fold as they went. And so they just learned and everything was separated by color. Um, it wasn't really too difficult of a task. Like I said, I only mentioned the slacks because it actually happened to another cleaner in, um, I want to say Kentucky. She had a gentleman who um, threw his slacks in with the regular laundry. So they washed and dried it and they ruined it. It was the second time wearing the suit. So we had to go over all the legalities of what was going to happen. And because he, of course, wanted his $4,000 suit replaced. And I'm like, you know, it's you. So there's, a, you know, <laughs> it's just... So we had to go over all of that. So um, I would imagine that there would be videos on YouTube if you wanted to learn specifically how to do laundry. I think the stain treatments were also difficult to learn, like how to spot stains, like on sheets. You know, it's usually makeup or period blood. I hate to be so graphic for those of you who have sensitive ears. Um, so you'd have to learn how to be able to get the stains out without hurting your sheets or yourself by putting so much chemical on there. That's why you need a really good stain remover. Um, I hope that answers your question, Miss Allison. And also, do you have recommendations for the app that you use for laundry service, something that clients can request and pick up or notify them when their order is done? Um, if you have Jobber, there is... Um, you can shoot them an email through the jobber. As far as an app, I don't know if there is a client app that specifically says your laundry is ready for pickup. You could just do it the old fashioned way and text message them off of the company phone and say, hey, your laundry is ready for pickup and they'll usually respond back because most of you are gonna have two phones, right? One for the company and the one I'm vide videotaping on is my personal one. So. <laughs> And then that way everyone calls on the company one and then they can't call you on your personal one, right? So you would just do it the old fashioned way. So um, I hope that answers the question there. And is there any more? Always read labels. I like that, Nicole. Yes, definitely always read the labels. That request. Let's just see more and pick up their servers and display what they've done. Be careful of GE machines. They are known to spit grease on white linens. Wow, I didn't know that. Um, I just have the good old fashioned top loader and we usually buy them used because for a long time, we, we, we when I had the business, we had all of the business 
we would have a set in the offices and then we had a set here and we would do gosh <laughs> before we switched everything over we were doing like 50 loads every single week so um we learned how to distribute the gray water so we weren't like totally impacting the environment but it was um it was pretty impressive but i didn't know that about ge that's pretty good to know um actually what is the actual laundry press so you wash dry and fold so um what the, what happens that laundry process so if they're just if they're coming to you and they're dropping off their laundry it's in the bag you're weighing it you're writing it on the ticket what it weighs you're getting their name their address their phone number of contact and then um the person then usually there's a counter person it, this is the traditional sense since you're going to be doing it you're going to be the one for all right so then the um the counter person would pass it over to the laundry person and the laundry person would start to sort it by colors is usually how they do it and usually they will keep everything all together so one client has three bags then all of their laundry gets done together and it's usually sorted and what they'll do is they'll quickly look up i've watched them do it at the local laundromat here and they have a light so they hold up the light really quick to see if they can spot anything and then they spot treat it and then put it in the pile and they do the whole pile of spot treating so that way the chemical has time to work and then they start the process of washing and then they recheck the items they make a mental note tammy i don't know if you can hear me so it's um it's 5 p.m arizona time so um you can just hop on here right now and you can always catch the replay it's totally okay so then after they wash it they're going to check those items that they put stain removal on to make sure it got done and if not they're going to give it a second try or a third try and then sometimes stains just won't come out and that's when you tell the um the client say just let you know the stain couldn't come out we tried it three times what are they going to say no <laughs> so <laughs> so that's important there and then um then they depending on the the drying directions they're either going to dry it on low medium or high and then they're going to either hang it if the hangers i would charge extra for hanging or if they provide you with hanging it you can charge them like 25 cents per item to hang it however you want to work it out and then um then they can just fold it it gets all folded and then you put the craft the, the belly band of craft paper and then you tie it with twine attach the ticket and they've already paid they pay when they drop off so it's a done deal um sometimes you can get a difficult item that they really need to have cleaned and you could say just to let you know this isn't going to be the normal rate and i'll get you the price at the end and they'll be like okay so um that's really easy too i don't think that there is any more are there any more questions from you guys? It just shows me you're watching on my phone. It doesn't say anything about um, the comments. I keep having to go out and then come back in. Live chat. All right, so I think I have covered all that I'm supposed to cover. So extra money for you guys. I hope that you guys have a fabulous rest of your week. So you're gonna get those cabinets and patios. And then hopefully, um, I know she's totally busy and we just didn't have time to catch up. I would like to discuss Passover cleaning. If you guys have a large Jewish community in your area, this is a very lucrative cleaning. I actually have another girlfriend um, who does it as well, but she won't come on a live. I can't even pay her to do it. <laughs> so um, this other person has agreed. So I'm really excited. And it, it, she will I, hopefully she'll be able to give us all the nitty gritties because there's a certain... Um, way to clean and there's the the middle and the two buckets and you can't cross contaminate and everything is done in a very um, ritual way so that you're not cross contaminating because they're getting the, the house ready for Easter so it's um, Passover cleaning and I'm it's called something else and if you are familiar with the word please let me know and because I, I don't want to butcher it I think it's one thing but I might be incorrect and I don't want to, I don't want to mispronunciate it because that wouldn't be fair to them. So, um, if you guys don't have any more questions, I'm going to get off of the Facebook live. I'll leave this post up for a couple days. If you have, um, any other concerns, go ahead and private message me. You guys take care.